welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we are going to be creating some special Mother's Day pop-up cards. Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, May 9th. Before we get into this lesson, let's go ahead and take a look at some of that fabulous student art. Kids art. Thank you so much for sending in your art to me. I just love seeing your art and what you do. I always keep my email there on the corner of your screen so that you always know how to reach me. I saw some really great examples of our Earth Day art in the style of stained glass. So thank you for sending those in. For today's art project, um, as I said, we're going to be creating some pop-up Mother's Day cards. And um, before we uh, talk about the supplies, um, let's see, I think it's best if I show you the supplies at the table because there's a few extra this time. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you um, at the table. Okay, since we are making cards, uh, you're going to want a pair of scissors, something to color with, um, something to glue with. You know, if you have tape around the house, that works fine. Elmer's glue works or a glue stick. And let's see, some paper. And the paper can be any color. And if you happen to have like a little bit of a thicker paper, this is a uh, cardstock that I'm using, that works best. Pencil and uh, as always, a really good eraser because uh, we know that we make mistakes in art and sometimes we might want to erase them. Okay, so we're going to start by taking a um, regular sheet of paper. This is this this is eight and a half, let's see, I think it's eight and a half by 11. Yeah, it's 11 inches by eight and a half inches. Your paper can be any size and any color. And we are going to start by folding it in half like a greeting card. So we're just gonna fold it right in half like this. And I'm gonna try to match up the corners. And I'm gonna show you two different examples. The first example will be, oh, more of a beginner's card for our younger students, or if you just like, like the art, anyone can do it. And the second card that I show you will be a little more advanced. Okay, so we're just going to make the card, which I've done, and just set it aside. And now we're going to work on the pieces that, we'll, that we will put in here for the pop-up. Okay, and uh, in case you don't know what a pop-up card is, let me show you an example. Okay, here's an example of one. When you open it, this, this is one I did um, last year for Mother's Day. When you open it, it has a little like cut out tab and so it's it's pretty much a 3d um, piece of art so there's one example we're going to do something like this okay so how about for this first one uh, we're going to make three hearts on this piece of just scratch paper any any paper and we're going to end up gluing the pieces inside here so I like to always, you know, sketch out with a pencil and I'm going to make my hearts three different sizes. So maybe one, I'm going to try to just sketch it real lightly. One will be like, this will be the bigger sized heart like that. And then maybe one that's a medium sized heart. And I'm just offering you suggestions. If you can think of something that you'd rather create instead of hearts, you can do something different. And then let's do a small heart. Now, hearts are not that easy to make. They look like they're easy, but they're not. It's hard to get them symmetrical. And mine are not perfect, but I think that's okay. Because I think sometimes they look even better when they're not perfect. Now, I'm going to color my hearts in just very, um, 
kind of random and bright colors. I'm using oil pastels today. Um, you can definitely do this with crayon or marking pens, colored pencil. If you're somebody who likes to use um, watercolor paints, you can use watercolors. I think for this first heart, I'm gonna just make some real bright colors in here. And you can see I'm just kind of mixing. It's just going to be just kind of some wild, bright colors. Maybe I'll add some red. And I can overlap some of them and take some of these to the edge. It's just gonna be a colorful like collage of colors. There's some red. Maybe I'll add um, some green in here. Kind of like a rainbow heart and how about some light blue over here i think what i'll do is maybe i'll finish this off with a black border let me see if i hold this up it kind of looks like that it's very interesting you don't have to color yours like this obviously you can if you want to color in a solid solid red heart or a, a pink heart or a yellow heart, you can do that too. Now, I didn't talk with you about, you know, who you might want to give these cards to. Uh, when it comes to Mother's Day, you can give, you can make a present or a card for anyone who is a mom or someone who you feel like is a mom to you, even if that person is not really uh, your mom. And it's like, or if that person's not your biological mom, if you have a stepmom or a grandma or an aunt, um, you can give a Mother's Day card to anyone. If you have two moms, you might want to make two cards. Okay, so here's an example. It's kind of interesting looking, isn't it? How about we make another one with some different colors? Let's see, maybe I'll do some more like pastel colors. Pastel colors are soft, soft and spring-like colors. So I'm gonna fill this one with some pink. How about that? And maybe a light green over here. See that? So I'm just doing real soft colors. I'm pressing very hard because I want to, even though I'm using soft colors, I want it to be vibrant at the same time. What about, again, let's use this light blue. I think this is beautiful. Maybe you want to make a heart with polka dots in it or stripes. It can be, you know, this is your art. I always tell you that you can design it any way that you want. Maybe we can outline this one with a different color. I'm going to take this this, let's see if I don't, it's called, oh, it says blue-green. I'm not wearing my glasses, but I can kind of see what it says. Okay, oh, look at that. I like that, that color combination. And this heart is, is more of like a round, um, a round heart. It's not as pointy, but that's okay. I think it's more interesting if all the hearts look a little bit different. This one was supposed to be smaller, but I, I guess I made this one kind of big. That's okay. What I'll do is I'll put the smaller one in the center when I cut them out. I think that'll still look nice. Okay, and for this last one, hmm, let's see, maybe I will just use a couple of colors, like maybe two different, maybe two different greens. That might look nice. And I will do, a, maybe I'll try this brighter green in the center. And maybe a, a lighter green here. That's pretty. I'm just trying to show you different styles, how you might want to color your hearts in. There we go. I think I'll try outlining um, this with black because I think black looks good with green. There. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I'm almost ready to cut them out. So 
I'm using three hearts. Maybe, maybe you want to make more than, than three hearts. But what we want though, is we want them to be able to fit. Uh, so this scratch paper that I have is the same height as my paper that I folded in half. It's, it's eight and a half. So it needs to be able to fit and you'll see why. So next I'm going to um, take my scissors and cut out these hearts. First, I think it's easier to just separate them. And now I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut right kind of on the line. I'm not gonna have white showing outside of the border. If you want to, you can. I'm gonna try not to. Cutting takes practice. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you always just hit the space bar on your Chromebook and it will pause the video. This, this heart, this is the negative space that I cut out. That's interesting. Let's try the next one. I really like this green heart with the black. I think these colors are so vibrant. They really uh, stand out. There we go. And I'm going to cut out the last heart. And as you can see, these are not these are not perfectly drawn hearts. They are not perfectly colored. I wasn't going for that look. I'm going for more of, you know, and just an artistic rendition of of hearts. Okay. So now even though we're going to be putting the hearts on the inside, I am going to kind of measure out here. And look, I have, I have pastels on my fingers and this happens and it's okay. But since I'm just practicing, I might get some smudges on my paper. But I still think that that's okay too, because then whoever you give the card to will, will see how hard you worked and they'll see your prints. Okay, this is what I think. Um, take take the time at this point to look at the colors and figure out you know which heart do you want to be on the top of the pop out oh why thank you my my husband mr. Jeff Houston who handles all of our filming brought me a wet paper towel thank you very much now and a dry one, and a dry one. oh thank you so I, I always give these to my mother for Mother's Day so I guess she won't see my fingerprints, but she wouldn't care if they were on there. I think I like, let's see. Hmm, I kind, of, I kind of like this better, the small heart on top. And I think the reason I like this is because I outlined these, this one and this one with black. And I think that's what's wanting, I want to separate them that way. I think that looks good. So now watch carefully what I'm going to do. I'm gonna decide where I want these hearts to sit on the inside, and I'm gonna draw some little lines right here, because that's where I'm going to cut through to make the pop out. I think I want this one to sit here. And you'll have to experiment with how far you want to cut in. And I think, I think I'll just try to space them somewhat evenly. I'll put one right here. Something like this. Okay. Now, um, I know just from experience, let's see how far I did these tabs. Oh, uh, it looks like they're about, about an inch and a quarter. Might take them out an inch and a half. And you don't have to be perfect, it doesn't matter. This is just an estimate. Okay, now I'm gonna take my scissors my card is folded like this, okay? I'm going to cut on my lines. One, two, okay? So there's a, a little flap right there. And do the same thing here. One, two, okay? There's another flap and I'm gonna do one more here. One, Two. And at this point in time, you know, you may want to erase those helper lines that you drew because you'll probably want to decorate 
the front of the card. Okay, so I just erased. Now watch very carefully. I'm gonna open my card and I'm pushing with my finger from the other side and I'm grabbing that tab. And the first thing I'm gonna do is squeeze it here and see it like that. And then I'm going to fold it here and here so that when it lays down, it's, it's flat. So I basically folded that tab inside out. I'm gonna show you again. So I just, I pop it through and I'm going to kind of help it fold here and here. You might have to work with it a little bit and then I'm gonna press it down. And so now I have two. You can see them like that. Let's do one more. I'm gonna pop this through and fold it right on that bent, right where it's already been folded. And I'm gonna bring it forward and, and flatten it, okay? So here we have the three um, tabs. And then I'm gonna take my hearts, okay, and I'm, I'm not going to put the glue on the back of the heart, I'm gonna put the glue on the tab. One right there, and I'm just going to stick the heart. Doesn't matter like exactly where, but it's on the top. See, it's sitting on the top part of the tab right there. And then I'll put another piece of glue here. Let's see, I said I was gonna separate by the black border. So this one, and maybe I'll tilt this one a little. Okay, this one here, I have to hold it for a little bit since I used Elmer's. I think I like it straighter. I don't want to tilt it as much. Okay, you can see what it looks like already. It's like a 3D effect. And then we're gonna do this last one here. One dot of glue is all it takes. I heard somebody say one time, a teacher would say dot, dot, not a lot. Did your teacher teach that to you? <laughs> okay, the little marks right here on my paper, it's from the all the oil pastels that are on my table. That's okay. All right, so um, you may want to cover these spaces with another piece of paper on top but it's really not necessary because when whoever receives the card displays the card, it'll sit like up like this on the table or wherever they display their cards. Um, let me just show you, I think I have an example. So um, here's an example I put, this was one that I made last year and you can see I just wrapped another piece of paper over it and glued it so that you don't see those openings, but that's entirely up to you. And so of course we want to write something on the inside. And uh, if you want, I will show you, I'm going to use red and I think we will, I will write. Now I'm noticing right now, it's a little bit difficult for me to squeeze my hand in here. So, if you haven't made yours yet, you might want to wait before you glue your heart on. Maybe do the writing first and then glue after. But I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. I'm going to write, I love you, mom. You can write something like that. You can, you can draw a little more hearts and butterflies on the inside of the card if you want to. You can write at the bottom, you sign your name. Let's see, I can sign my name in another color real quick. You're going to write love and then put a comma. It's like when you finish a letter, love, and then write your name here. Remember, you write your name with the capital letter uh, when you write it. And then of course, um, you can also decorate anything. You could write Happy Mother's Day. You know what, why don't I show you how to spell that while I have this out. Okay, 
So um, if you want to write Happy Mother's Day, you're gonna it's a capital H, happy, H-A-P-P-Y, happy, and then capital M, M-O-T-H-E-R. Now watch this, apostrophe S, Happy Mother's, and then capital D, A, Y. And if you want, you could do something fun like this. You could do an exclamation point and put a heart at the bottom of the exclamation point. And then, of course, you could do, you know, if you wanted to do little butterflies or even just, you know, little squiggly lines on the outside of the card, you can totally decorate it and make it your own. I don't even think it matters that it has the cutouts right there because they're going to see a big surprise when they open it. Okay, so this was one of the, the basic designs, okay? And I am going to set this aside and I'm gonna show you a different style of pop-out card. Okay. So let me see if I have room to kind of keep this right there so that you can see it. All right, so for my next card, I am going to fold my paper in half again, uh, line up the corners. It's kind of hard sometimes, and you you know hold it when you when you crease the paper. Now I'm not going to cut the tabs yet because I want to first create what's going to go inside. So I'm just going to set this paper to the side so I have room on my desk. Okay, and. Um, I am going to start by drawing straight line. And I'm just sketching, it's very, very light. I'll go over it with a black pen. And I'm just going to draw like a circle up here at the top. And then we're going to turn this into a flower with a stem. This is just our frame. Okay, so I'm gonna start kind of with a swirl in the middle something like this and then um, I am going to create some some like petals around the edge and then I will go back and erase some of these strange lines okay and then I want a thicker stem and there's a reason for this there I'm gonna have a thicker stem like this Something like that. Now, uh, when I draw this leaf, it has to go out to the edge, and I will show you why. Because this is going to be connect. This the leaf will uh, connect uh, one of the connect to one of the tabs. And then why don't we draw another leaf that's kind of coming out up here? That would look nice, I think. Something like that. And let's do another leaf here that also goes out to the, to the edge of the paper. Something like that. And then we can do a couple like little leaves right here. We can do a small leaf here, and then maybe another leaf coming out behind it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and outline this. You know, I think I'll start with the thin Ultra fine Sharpie. I wonder if any of you have been watching Simple Art at Home for a year now, because I think the Mother's Day episode that I did in 2020 was my like second, I don't even know. It was like one of the earlier videos I'd ever made. I was still out in my kitchen. I didn't have this uh, this table. I don't know, I'll have to go back and look. And you can see, if you like some of the other cards I'm gonna show you, you can watch that old episode. Just go to the Simple Art at Home playlist and you'll see all the old episodes. Mother's Day is definitely in there. But wow, I can't believe it's been a year. Distance learning. Now we're back. Most of us are back. Partially, but it's good to see, it's good to see everybody again, isn't it? Okay, I'm not finished outlining, but I am getting distracted by my pencil lines. So I'm going to erase my pencil lines.
just a little bit. Then I'm going to outline with the black Sharpie, the thicker Sharpie. If you have a, a black crayon, it works just fine, or a black colored pencil, I'm just going to do the perimeter. That one's a little bit dull. Let me find one that's a little sharper. I, let me show you, I keep this whole box, I mean not a box, I keep a whole mug over here of just different Sharpies. It's nice to have all these pens around. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna just go on the outside. I need my glasses. Okay. And remember, I'm always just offering suggestions to you. You can decide um, to do this. Actually, I think I'll go around. I think I'll do this whole thing right here. You can decide um, to do this however you want to. Maybe you don't even want to do flowers. Maybe you want to do something different. Okay. I think and some of this black line will, I'm, I'm going to cut this out, so some of this might get cut off, but at least it's a whiter uh, line to start with. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could add, you know, some more, you know, lines on these leaves, but it's not necessary, but they're looking kind of plain to me. Okay. All right. Okay, so I am going to color my flower pink. Let's see. I might leave I might come in like that with my I might leave a little bit of white towards the center there. I don't know though, I might fill it back in. I'm just gonna see how it looks. And this. There. Just adding a little, a little bits of white here and there. I think that that's pretty. Um, okay, and then I think for my stem, I'll probably use a mixture of some dark and light green. Maybe I'll start my stem with this color. Okay. Uh, I thought it was very wonderful that Miss Kuski's whole fifth grade class participated in the Earth Day art, and she sent a picture of her bulletin board. Thank you, Miss Kuski. Kuski, um, and from Gwyn Elementary School. Very good. I'm gonna add some darker green here. And then when it comes to the leaves, I wonder if any other classes participated as a whole group. I don't know unless you send me pictures. I have no idea. I, I know people watch the videos, but I don't always see results. That's why I love it when you send me pictures of what you've done. I used to have my own class, but not anymore now that I have this different job. So I do miss seeing student work. There, I'm adding some, like some bits of darker green here to make this stand out. 
maybe some right here as well. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little dark down here to add some interest. You can do a lot with oil pastels. Okay, I think that is plenty. So I will hold this up so you can see it. I might add, I feel like I wanna add a little something to this pink flower. Maybe I can add some little bits, some little bits of red. How about that? Because I think the red looks good with the green. Little bits of red there on the edges of the petals. Just blending a little bit in there. There. I kind of like that. Okay. So next step, I am going to cut it out. I'm going to cut, I'm trying to cut kind of on the outside of that thick black line. And I'm not, I don't want to leave white sticking out. But we'll see. If I do, it's okay. So I'm, uh, I'm doing this Mother's Day show a little bit early, but it gives everybody plenty of time because sometimes you're finishing up, I know you're watching the other videos. So hopefully everybody has a chance to see this and and create a project. Oh, and I, I do want to recommend last week's show. It was on the cherry blossoms. And I mentioned that those cherry blossoms would be an excellent present to give to somebody. Um, that art would be an excellent present. And then this could be the card that goes with the present. You can give art as a present. Grown-ups love that. Okay, cutting uh, takes a lot of practice and I know some people can cut quickly and then other people it takes longer and that's okay. Did you notice I cut with my right hand and I draw with my left hand? I don't know why. <laughs> well, I think I know why. I think I had to learn to cut with my right hand because I didn't have left-handed scissors at the time when I was a kid in the 1970s. But now, now they make left-handed scissors or maybe they maybe they made left-handed scissors back then but I just didn't have them but now scissors seem to be they cut with both hands like you can cut left or right sometimes with scissors but I learned with my right a fun fact about Mrs. Houston but I'm left-handed everywhere else <laughs> for everything else I mean this is the only thing I do right-handed Okay, and I'm just gonna cut that off. Oh. oh, what do I do with that little thing right there? I think I'm just going to ignore it because if I try to cut that out, I think I'm gonna tear my flower. You know, I do have an X-Acto blade, but I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so here's the part where um, you really have to watch and um, pay attention closely. Okay, I'm gonna line up the stem at the bottom of the card down here. And then I wanna put, make sure the two leaves somewhat, um, are somewhat close to, you know, the edge over here. Uh, it doesn't have, they don't have to be touching the edge, but close. And this is the point where I know I'm going to put my marks, where I'm going to cut out those tabs because I want the tabs to go uh, behind the leaves. I wanna glue the leaves onto the tabs. So I've just made some marks right there and now I know uh, the measurement without having to use a ruler. So let's get my scissors out and I'm going to cut here one and two and then again one and two. Okay, 
and let's use the same process. So I'm just going to open it and pop this through here and bend it the opposite way. It's like I'm bending it inside out and bending the paper the other direction and I can flatten it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Bend this forward and this forward. Okay, now let's see if this is going, if I measured correctly. Yes, I think it's going to be beautiful. And last time I learned that I want to write first before I glue, because I am left-handed, so my hand knocks this. So I'm gonna make sure I write towards this outer edge. And why don't I use, why don't I use pastels this time? Okay, so maybe, let's see, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna write, I heart you. So I'm just going to just very delicately sketch out. I think it's always a good idea to sketch with pencil first. And let's do a heart. And then we'll do a U. Something like that. And then why don't we write mom down here? And I think I'll write mom with black um, oil pastel and it's gonna be thick so I'm actually not going to write it out with pencil but I'm gonna write I. These are thick. You gotta be careful if you're using crayons or pastels. Okay. And then I definitely want to do that heart in red. Something like this. This pastel is so small, I can barely hold it in my fingers. I don't know if this is exactly the same color, but I'll, this is, oh, that's better, okay. Here we have a heart. Now, you can color this heart like, like you colored one of these hearts if you want to. I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm gonna color it all in red. You could do polka dots, stripes, Happy faces, inside the heart, whatever you want. You can write your mom's name in there. Okay, and then I think I will use a beautiful green for the U, and I am pressing really hard. I end up usually breaking crayons and oil pastels because I press down so hard because I like the really bright colors that they make. I mean, I like, there we go. I love you. And I'm going to get black and I'll write the word mom. Let's see. Now if my if the flower is here, okay, I should have plenty of room. Whoa. The board is a little bit bumpy. My pastel is getting stuck. But it's okay. Maybe I'm pressing too hard. If you want to practice your writing on another <laughs> paper first, that might be a good idea. Okay. Um, I love you, Mom. And then I think I'll just take, maybe I'll use a pencil or a thin, how about I use a thin Sharpie? Mm, okay. So down here, if you know how to write cursive, you can write in cursive. And then I'm just going to write my name or you can print. Now, something else I always like to do on my Mother's Day cards is I like to write the date. And I'm just going to write 2021 because I think it's good that your, your mom or somebody, your grandma or your aunt or your neighbor, whoever you give this to, they're most likely going to keep it. And then they'll go back and find it and they'll be like, oh, that was back in 2021. I think I just want to do this really quickly. 
I think it'll make, I always like um, black as an outline. If you, it really makes colors stand out. Okay, something like, see that? So it's very, stands out a lot. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can glue. Again, I'm just going to put a dot, all, a little bit of glue is all you need. And remember, I'm trying to line up the bottom of the stem down here. I just think it looks cool. Uh, I don't know if this is going to, I might have to hold it for a little while. Let's see if I can get it to work, to hold for you so you can see it. It does work. Okay. I think it's really pretty. It's such a 3D cool card. Okay. So... I have showed you a couple of different versions of cards for Mother's Day. Uh, remember, a Mother's Day card can be given to any mom or to someone who you feel like, you know, is a mom to you. Um, does not have to be your biological mom. Okay, I'm trying to get that to stick because I see my flower trying to, um, to pull off there. I wanted to show you a couple of cards that I made last year. So I did show you this one that was, that had some tulips. I don't know. If the, and then I did, what else did I do last year? Let's see. Oh yeah, there was this one where you could put your mom's name or you could just write mom. This one I, I cut out colored paper and glued it on. And then this one was fun. Are you ready for this? Ta-da! It was a big rainbow with clouds. And, and that one has two tabs. You can see that right there. I drew the rainbow first, I made the clouds, and then I measured to find out, you know, where to cut. Okay. So I will meet you um, back up at the easel with my cards or one card at least. Okay, so let's see if we can, if you can see this, if I turn it to the side, kind of see how it looks. There's the back of it. So I hope you learned something new today and I hope you learned how to make a, a pop-out or a pop-up card. I think they're really fun. And um, I hope you enjoyed the show and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I am a mom too, um, and I'm very thankful to be a mom. But um, why don't we take a second look at the fabulous student art, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Kids Art See you next time.